What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. For those of you that have been living under a rock, apparently Derrick Jackson's wife filed for divorce. Now, this is nothing new to a lot of us, and let me tell you why it is that I'm covering it, right? For a couple different reasons. A, because you know that I am an advocate for giving you the information on what it takes in order to be successfully married. B, it always comes back down to the money. But C, there's a couple of little caveats that I think that we need to add into this conversation in order to ensure that we mine it out successfully. But before we get into it, let me first invite you to subscribe to the channel, hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, and then turn on your notifications. Furthermore, I did drop an interview with Charleston White, uncensored, two hours, inside of the Patreon, in addition to the Patreon meetup in Miami, New Year's Eve, the upcoming Build a Business series, and then more importantly, Patreon member retreat that's coming next year, along with all of the other awesome things that we got going on. And the bag chasers, that link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Um, make sure you share this with your friends and family. We don't want to be successful by ourselves. Uh, there's a ton of value and content that comes on both this channel and uh, the Anton Daniels channel, and then as well as my new channel. That link is in the description. Also, it's called Don't Do Coke in the Bathroom, and all of my interviews are going to go on that channel. So make sure you subscribe there. Make sure you hold me down. Uh, but let's mine out this real quick, right? So. Uh, before we even get into my thoughts on the whole situation, because who better to speak on it than me, somebody that has been successfully married for the past 18 years. Uh, before I get into it, I want to go into his statement, right? Uh, he says, over the past several months, my family, and he got <laughs> basically 42,000 likes as of the recording of his video. Over the past several months, my family and I have gone through many changes, some of you have speculated, while others of you have reached out to offer support as we privately established this new normal for ourselves and our beautiful children. Who wrote this? Earlier this year, uh, after much prayer, counseling, and deep consideration, cap, probably more like arguing, fighting, and a lot of feistiness is going on inside of that house, just my personal opinion, we decided to go our separate ways and file for divorce. And a we, she. Filed to file for divorce. Making a decision to file was one of the hardest decisions of my life. But I found peace knowing that our mission of raising healthy children, starting with healthy and whole parents, uh, is still being accomplished. Now, before we continue to read the rest of this, the next two uh, sentence and paragraph, is uh, <laughs> no way based off of what it is that I've been seeing online from her, as far as her wishing death and, and destruction on people that have anything to say about uh, the public figure that he is, and then he dragged her into it, uh, is no way that that's a healthy situation uh, for the kids. We all know that parents in two family households uh, often at times raise the kids that are the least dependent, uh, most successful, uh, less likely to go to jail, less likely to join a gang, so on and so forth, right? These are statistics that can be backed up. But more importantly, I want you to be able to read through the lines. This is not 1990 where you can just put out a statement and that's the end of the conversation. Social media has changed everything. How we see relationships, uh, the level of visibility that we have in people's lives, uh, being able to capture exactly what's going on. But before I give my uh, thoughts, let me continue to read the rest of this message. From falling in love as just teenagers to becoming spouses and now co-parents. This is going to be important later when I give my thoughts. I'm grateful for the years that we've spent together and wouldn't trade them for anything. I was blessed to have such an amazing person in my life and will forever be thankful for all she's meant to our family. We ask if you pray to pray for us as we navigate this grieving process. If not, please respect our privacy. Okay, cool. I like that statement. Pretty straightforward, nothing crazy, well written, so on and so forth. But let me give you the real skinny. And this is just my opinion. This is my thoughts based off of a lot of the different people that I coach, the things that I see, and then my own personal life experiences all mixed into one big cocktail, right? A, what you have here is a man that has outgrown his circumstance. That's the harsh truth. This is a man that has outgrown his circumstance. I get it. I understand. Kind of reminds me of uh, that guy that was on... Um, what is that? That uh, Temptation from the Tyler Perry movie, Temptation. I watched that uh, the other night in a studio. I had it on the TV. So let me check this out, right? And 
you know, they grew up together in an environment where they were probably not privy to what was going on in the world. Often a time that happens in a church and um, people don't know what they don't know. And he didn't know that he was going to become big and a megastar and have a level of, level of visibility and so on and so forth. And so while she was still putting on her helmet of righteousness, he was going out here getting buff, getting big, having chicks in his DMs. And no matter how much he talked to y'all and told y'all, hey, this is what a narcissist man looks like. And this is no matter how much he sent to the women, ultimately he fell victim to what most men fall victim to when they're not able to really substantiate their time and then exercise a level of dick discipline. It's he had money, he had fame, and then more importantly, he had women that were beating down his doors. And he didn't know he was going to get famous before he decided that he wanted to rock out with his childhood chick, right? Now, the question that we really need to ask ourselves is, is there a level of loyalty that he is old, he, uh, she is old, or do you just really outgrow your circumstance because what you anticipated for it to be is much different than what it is? Let me say that again. What you anticipated for it to be is much different than what it is. I'm pretty sure he did not anticipate being the man that he is today as far as being great and famous and all that other type of stuff, right? I mean, I mean, you can look at the picture. You can look at the videos that she be uploading. You can even look at that hostage situation video that they made where once he got caught cheating and, you know, he had a lot to say about, hey, listen, you know, it was me and my family and we decided to patch it up and work it out and work together. She looked crazy. I mean, at the very least, go and get her hair done or makeup done so she can look good on camera. And I'm sure, you know, to speak on her behalf, you know, and her, based off my opinion, she didn't ask for this. I'm sure she did not know that this was going to happen and he was going to blow up and there was going to be a level of visibility and then he was going to get caught cheating and then she was going to be dragged in the middle of it. She just wanted to do her little crazy scriptures and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I think that this is a situation in, in which um, he's really outgrown the situation. Now he want to go and have him a city boy summer, city boy winter slash springs fall winter. Um, my advice to him at this point is to pivot and probably not even get married because you don't even want to put yourself in that situation where you're then bound by the vows that you make and the laws by which you made and the oaths that you made under God to the woman that you would marry again, right? Unless you want to do it for his image and he truly understand looking at it from a business perspective, then he'd have to move a little bit more carefully to make sure that he don't get caught in those scandals. However, last but not least, my final thought, this could be a phenomenal situation for him if he spins it and he leans into his greatness and allow for himself to be great instead of still trying to spit that same old, same old based, of his, based on his past current circumstance. He no longer that guy. He no longer have the, the, the selling power to spit that narrative behind uh, selling women on the whole lifestyle and being faithful and all of that. But uh, this visibility can really turn him into, into a superstar if he knows how to navigate it correctly. Um, but that's in a future video, a future narrative I'm sure to come out. I'll, I'll hit on it a little bit quick, uh, a little bit later. Probably tomorrow I'll drop another video for y'all. Um, I do have some thoughts on the Umar Johnson situation. I'm going to fill y'all in on that a little bit later. But again, more importantly, uh, the thing about it is that I think that he's outgrown a circumstance and situation. And this is the culmination of that. A lot of times people just, you know, every, everybody is not meant to be there for you for your entire life. And everybody is not meant to be able to handle um, navigating through your current circumstance while you have that level of visibility. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about Derek Jackson's wife or him and both of them filing for divorce, moving on, how it's going to affect their kids, and then whether or not uh, she was worthy to be with him once he got to a certain point of his life. Anyway, I'm curious as to what you guys think. Again, hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, um, and then hit the Patreon. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat because it's so much value to be had in that. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Subscribe to Don't Do Coke in the Bathroom. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.